Logging your time to a billable Tempo account can help you get paid. Want to find out how? Tempo accounts are like a high-level organizer for categorizing all the time that is logged by your employees using Tempo timesheets. Here at Lunar Industries, we use Tempo accounts for everything, including tracking billable work for invoicing our customers. The reason why Tempo accounts work is because our employees know how to log their time to the correct account. I'm the project manager of our Geologist Energy Consulting team, who uses a billable account to track scientific research work for a customer called Greenergy, and also a non-billable account to track pre-sales work that is related to the project for the same customer. So let me show you how we log our time to these accounts, which will give me an accurate report of the hours spent on work for Greenergy. Here on the Accounts page in Tempo Timesheets, I'll click the name of the H3 Energy billable account to open its account overview. And this shows all the account's information, including to which JIRA projects the account is linked. I can link to more projects here, or delete links to projects if there's a change. But what's great is that I can simply click the project's name to go right to it in JIRA. The first thing I'll do in the project is make this count the default one to use for this JIRA project, so all new issues created in it automatically have the correct account set. You don't have to set the default, but it does make things easier for logging time later on. And there's less chance of choosing the wrong account when there are multiple accounts linked to a project. Luckily, this is very easy to do. I go to the Project Settings, then select Apps and Accounts. At the top, you can see the account that I linked to this project when I created that account. And I can link an account here too, which gives you yet another way to do this. Now I just click Set Default for the H3 Energy Billable account, and that's done. Only one account at a time can be the default. So notice that I can click Remove Default if I don't want this account to be the default anymore. Or I can click Clear Default so that there are no default accounts at all. Or I can simply click Set Default for another account, and then it switches to become the default. So I'll go back to my project, and in this JIRA issue, I can see the account field here. This field is here because our wonderful JIRA administrator, Lars, added the Tempo account custom field to the JIRA issue screens. This was covered in a previous video. This isn't a new issue, so the default account isn't set for me, but I can simply select H3 Energy Billable from the dropdown. And note that only accounts that have been linked to this project are listed here. Now all the time that's logged to this issue will be related to this account. I'll create a new issue here for scheduling lunar surface expeditions. And I'll assign it to myself. And now I can see that the H3 Energy billable account is indeed already selected for me since it's the default. And this will make life easier for me and my team. So when we're ready to log time to our issues, we can click the tempo icon up here, which opens the tempo panel. And then I'll click Log Time here. In the Log Time form, the issue is already selected, so all I need to do is fill out the number of hours worked in the Duration field, and maybe add a description, and click Log Time. Then I can see the time records, also known as work logs, for the issue here in the Tempo panel. And remember that all the time we log is billable time because that's what this billable account is used for. There's no need to do anything else to make it billable. So now here's a way that we can select the account each time that we log our time. And that's in the hidden features in the log time form. This tempo account dropdown, which was created from the account work attribute, is another thing that was created by our wonderful JIRA administrator, and also covered in a previous video. It's not necessary to have this dropdown since we already have the account field in the JIRA issue but it gives us the flexibility to easily select the account per time record. The H3 Energy billable account is set because that's what I set as the default, which is great. But let's say that someone was working on this JIRA issue, but was in a different department, such as our mechanics. 
They can select their machine maintenance account here so that their time is logged to that account instead. And I'll set the user to Angel since she's in that team. And log the time. Again, I see the time record for this issue in the tempo panel. So as the project goes along, I can easily check how much time has been logged to the H3 Energy billable account. I'll go back to the Accounts page and click on the account name to open its overview. And then click Timesheet up here on the right. And here I see all the time logged to this account. This is handy for doing a quick check on the billable hours worked on by whom and on which issue. I'll check the previous month because that's what I'll be running my report on for invoicing. This timesheet is similar to a report, but I need to send this data and more to my finance team when this project is done. And to do that, I need to create and export a real log time report, which I will do in the next video.